to my channel so in this video we will see one library called json structures validator so i have developed this library uh, using java so we'll see like why we need this library and how to use this uh, where we can use and few of the scenarios we'll see with this so basically if you see the word uh, json structure validator it, it what it does it will validate the two json structures so let's say you have file a uh, with some json payload another file with json payload so it will basically validate whatever the JSONs we have are both have the same structure and uh, structure it means like what what it what actually is the structure structure is like whatever the elements are present and the place of those elements should be proper so uh, nested elements and all those things should be nested only so we'll understand it like a uh, use case where we'll use this and in real time uh, where it will help us let's take an example uh, suppose you are working on a project and it has a lot of uh, independent modules where data is flows from a one one module to another module so input data for second module comes from first and the result of second module can be the input to the third module so basically all these modules can dependent independent i mean can be dependent to each other and uh, data can flow from one module to another module here uh, whatever data we are sending from one module to another module it can be in any format whether it can be json xml or any other in plain text so mostly whatever applications we see nowadays they are in the json format so for that purpose i have consider json uh, for this library so when we send the data to the other modules we have to send it in proper structure right so whatever data you are sending let's say you are sending employee information from one module to the other module so there whatever the employee fields will be there it should be in the json format and employee can have uh, sub fields as well like employee can have uh, other data let's take employee personal information it can be a field and all other details uh, related to personal information can be nested to that uh, json object so here the structure should maintain uh, correctly so here let's see when we send the data to other modules we have to send it in proper structure so that other modules can consume that data as it is so here for sending the data from one module to another we generally use kafka so kafka is used for producing and consuming the data let's take the upstream upstream system which has to send the data to the kafka topic so upstream system will have to send the data to low, uh, downstream systems for that they'll use kafka topic so for that application will take the data from database or any other data source from that data it will construct the json payload and that json payload will be in some structure and that will be posted to the kafka topic now what the downstream system will do they'll subscribe to that kafka topic and they'll listen to this topic as soon as a json payload comes they'll take that json payload and then they'll consume so here we have to make sure that whatever json structure we have sent the structure should not get changed during uh, uh, constructing the structure it should remain proper as per the expected payload and the same should be consumed by the downstream system so to make sure that structure remains same so i have developed this library so you just while writing a test cases what you can do you can use this library to compare the data whatever you have posted to kafka topic whether it is the structure is same as in the expected file so what's this it's an open source java based library which i have developed for comparing the structure of two json payloads so it is customizable so if you go to the git repo you can clone the code for this and you can modify this code and you can customize as per your read and how to use you can go to this uh, git repo 
here uh, i have add, i have added the code uh, which i have used for developing this so you can clone and you can uh, make changes to this code and you can use in your project and uh, one more thing here so how to use this once you clone right if you just want to see a demo of how to use this let us see some scenarios here so i have my project clone here in eclipse so basically you need just two files for this demo these two files will have uh, expected and actual json structures so ideally it, it will come from this expected it will come from kafka topic so for demo purpose i have taken both from the file you can also use both from the file uh, not not a problem so what we'll do right uh, initially i'll take two structures similar actual and expected both i'll take similar and one by one these scenarios whatever we have listed down uh, we'll see how we can use so let's see both structures are equal so this scenario will test right now we have same json payload in both the files here one thing we should keep in mind that we are comparing only the left side feeds with the proper path we are not comparing this values this can be anything uh, let's say this value is 27778 okay in expected it can be different it, it is different see whatever it may be respect of that based on only the structure it will give the result let's run this and see what result it will give so now you can see like even though the data is different based on the structure it's it's saying that both structures are equal okay this is one scenario ideally this is the first scenario and we expect the same uh, during testing other scenarios negative scenarios which can occur so let's see there is an additional element on the level 1 of the json so what we will do this is actual json this is like which with the json with which we are comparing and this is the json from kafka topic so this expected json file might get changed like it, here one additional element can get added or one element can get deleted or both scenarios can also happen so let's see on level 1 let's see if this id is uh, additional element we discuss right let's add some new element which is not there in the expected if such case occurs we'll we'll see how this library will respond and what output it will give so i have given id copy as a new element additional element to this expected structure so now if i run this what it will give right it will say missing element from actual message so it's saying this element is missing from actual message in actual message this element is not there in expected it is there so how do we know uh, which element it is and what is this basically this is a json path so we copy this json path we will go to this website called jsonpath.com this payload is the expected actual json whatever we have here that payload we have to give here and this is the json path which we have to give so let us refresh this now as discuss this actual json structure will provide here and after that we will see which element is missing which element is missing from the actual message so it is saying data comma id copy is missing so if we give here so let's write this i'll say data and i'll say data let's see what what it will give 
I think we'll refresh this. We'll refresh this and let us copy the actual structure and let us paste it here and if you see if I say dollar in the right side you can see this will get changed so I'll say data and in here it will see it will give all of this if you see here ID is there but ID copy is not there so you can easily find out from here so what we will do right again we will copy this for just to avoid any confusion we'll paste it once once more and now what we will do this field will uh, add new so additional element will add here so what it will do carrier new we will say and now if I run right it will say missing element from actual message it says data attributes and carrier new is missing so here we have data we have attributes and here carrier we have but carrier new we, we don't have in this expected so we can easily find out next thing what we'll do right here we will add one new element uh, sorry we have added sorry this is this is actual we have to use expected so here we have added new element right now we will remove some element so let's say we will remove this location so if I save and if I run again what it will do it will say additional element in actual message so location is not there in expected but in actual it is there so if you go to this path data attributes if we go to data attributes and location so data attributes location it is there here but it is not there in expected one so I'll copy this I'll copy and uh, I'll paste it here we'll see it will highlight that see this value it will highlight so it will come to know that this element is not present and one more use case we can see here if you see this type let's remove this as well okay now let's run so now what we have done two things I mean two fields we have removed and it's a additional elements in actual message one is this location and in this type so these are present in actual missing from uh, expected so let's see one more scenario combination we have seen additional we have seen missing elements we have seen okay combination of missing and additional we'll see additional we have uh, missing we'll see so let's say id and i'll say id n okay let's run so missing element from actual message is this one it is not there and these are the additional so whatever the json payload may be it can be any uh, complex payload this api sorry this library will work you just have to uh, provide the path here as i'm using files i have used files you can modify to use get from json expected json and actual json and you can pass in this uh, in this method and uh, here if you go inside the code right what the logic i have used right here the validation how it works let's take two json so what it will do initially it will get all the keys from those json files and once it gets all the keys right it will get the json paths for all of those keys so whatever keys may be will get it will get the json paths and 
for file 1 it will store all the json files json paths in one list for file 2 it will store all the json paths in the second list both list it will compare it will see which elements are missing based on this expected based on this actual json structure it will compare like which elements are missing which elements are uh, missing with respect to actual which elements are additional with respect to actual and that json path it will give we just have to use this json path we have to come here and we have we can verify the path easily we can find out which element is missing which element is additional so i hope like this library will be useful and uh, many people are going to use this and uh, that's all i have in this video if you like this video please share with your uh, colleagues and friends as well and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much bye